Haunted Tennessee stories all day. Now we turn to a Cherokee legend. Yeah, the story is meant to warn kids not to wander too far from home. WAT 6 on your size, Krista Gallant spoke to a Cherokee storyteller about Spearfinger. The Cherokee Nation is alive and well in our Great Smoky Mountains, and so are their stories. Oral presentations are an important part of their culture and heritage. They tell stories of their history and of mythical creatures. One story has caught the attention of many, especially during this spooky time of year. This is the story of Spearfinger. Spearfinger was a different type of supernatural creature because she was covered in like a rock-like skin. No arrows, no spears could penetrate that. But the scariest thing of all about Spearfinger is she is a shapeshifter. So you could be out with your friends and the person you thought was your friend would slip behind you and take her razor sharp spear finger that she kept hidden, spear you through the liver, pull it out and eat it bloody and raw. But there was a Cherokee village near here that heard that she was feeding and she was close by. So they decided that they were going to try to trap her and they dug a big pit all around their village and then they covered it they were hoping she would fall in and they could kill her well her favorite time of year was the fall like today because the cherokees would go out and gather chestnuts and they would set fire to the leaves so that they could find the, the chestnuts so when she saw the smoke she hurried over because she knew she could hide and watch and get someone maybe on the outskirts. And they set men, their best bowmen, along the way and hid. So they hid for a long time, and then they heard someone coming. And when they saw her, she was a tiny little old lady. And they couldn't shoot her. But then she fell. She fell in that, and she screamed and took on her natural form, which was horrible. They ran to the edge and they shot her and they threw rocks and they threw spears at her and it just bounced off her body. They didn't know what to do. And finally, a little bird flew down and landed on her shoulder as if to say, shoot her here. So they doubled their efforts and shot her there. Nothing. Then another bird came and landed on the tip of her spear finger. And when they looked, they could see it. It was about as big as, as the end of my finger, and it was black, but it was beating. And that's where her heart was. So the best bowman drew back and shot her right through the heart, and it killed her. Ooh, it gives me chills every time that I hear that story. Kathy Littlejohn tells me that it's not only important to tell the history of the Cherokee Nation, but of these legends as well. It's what keeps their culture alive. Reporting for Haunted Tennessee, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Wow. I want to hear more of that. That's, I that do was too. Yeah. And, and a shout out to photojournalist Taylor Gash, who found that story and did a beautiful job shooting the video. Yeah, did a great job. You know, Kathy Littlejohn shares stories on YouTube and through the Museum of the Cherokee Indian in North Carolina. Wonderful storyteller. Yeah. We'll have links to both at WATE.com.